Question nine is one of the easiest of all. All you need is a calculator. All you need to do is now press shift and this symbol over here, logarithmic symbol, you get the summation notation. Now here you don't have the option of n, it's in terms of x as the variable. So type it out, 6x minus 11. And where does it start? From 1 till 8 and press equal to the answer is 128. So that will be the final answer. You can do it by finding 8 values and adding it up or this is the easier method. Let's do it again. Shift this log symbol over here and 30 type 30 minus 4 instead of n you put alpha and x and then x starts from 4 and it ends at 11 and that's the answer it's 0 so that's the answer similarly let's try the 38th one all you need to do is shift and this symbol to get the summation here you need to use the brackets properly n squared bracket n minus 5 close the bracket and now it's all closed open two brackets close two brackets it starts at one and ends at seven so the answer is 84 and here you go all the problems are similar this one is also straightforward just use the calculator you'll get the answer even over here just use proper brackets square it up and then multiply this so that be the answer even over here there is nothing much this is just the power alpha x let me do this shift and log symbol now what you do is use the bracket minus 2 close the bracket square it up and use the variable x then subtract it from 9 now it starts at 0 ends at 6 and the answer is negative 20 similarly you can try all the others let me just do okay this one what if there's infinity type the question as it is you can't type infinity in your calculator right but there is a way to get the answer 1 divided by 10 to the power x close the bracket because there's one already open and now another one was opened by you so you need to close it properly and now what where does it start it starts at 1 but what is infinity exactly it's a huge number right let us start with 25 because you know you can't put huge huge numbers your answer is 5 by 9 yes that's it now don't go directly to put over here say 100 now up over here because sometimes you'll get an error so 100 but don't put 999 or something it takes a long time see you're getting an error so you just start with a small value because it's summation you have to sum a lot of values let's start with 10 you can see it's coming towards 0 0.55 that is 5 by 9 itself then you can just slowly change it say to 20 Whenever you get fraction, that's your answer. You can compare which is the correct option and easily choose the correct answer. Even over here, it's the same thing. Shift and the log symbol. Type the equation by fraction 8 divided by 10 to the power x. And it starts at 1 over here. And it ends at infinity. So I will just start with 15. It's 8 by 9. So the final answer is 8 by 9. You can try even uh, bigger numbers, but don't go huge numbers. So I'll try 25, you might get the answer. For 50, it may be a math error or something. So that's the end of this question. Easiest of all in this EOT, all you need is a calculator and type it out, you get the answer.